to your credit, Hunter, I, yeah, I hear from folks that a lot of times you're or almost all the time that you're the first one in the uh, in the office in the morning and your last one to leave in the evening. Uh, and that said, what, what are the biggest surprises uh, that you have encountered as your role with Startup Studios? Uh, and if you were king for a day, what, what would be something that you would implement uh, to try to, to overcome those challenges that you've observed? We really have been blessed. We have such an incredible group of 12 early stage founders in a wide variety of industries. 83% of our initial 12 companies that are in the studios come from underrepresented founders, which is something that we're exceptionally proud about there. I think from kind of just how I am wanting to always help folks that the way that this is and the program is scheduled, that there is, uh, I would say, daily, if not hourly contact with a lot of the founders there. So we're always open doors. So being able to immediately get somebody an answer or something like that is is truly um, impactful and something that if they weren't in the space might take them a week to get that answer. And a weekend startup world is like a month <laughs> when you're not kind of in that space there. So nothing what's the changed. book Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich? He says something along the lines of why start at level zero on the ground level when you can start at like step six, right? And so I think that's to your point of saying, hey, like if you can get those people there, that, that that's powerful. Um, and, I, and I think that's, that's great. And like you said, yeah, I mean, some of these you're making, um, Oh God, SVT guy. What was his name? Uh, uh, AK, AK AK Schultz would say, you know, I, I'm making you know three thousand decisions in a day, and and that's and that's that's kind of what you're getting at, Hunter. It, it, it can be wild in in that kind of case. Where where do you guys find these companies? Because you know, underrepresented uh, areas. Um, you know, we had Nick on a few weeks ago, and and he's not even from here. And so you, you just hear these stories about people. It's how are you guys finding these people that you know even Tim and I don't know about yet. Yeah, it, it really takes a community and, and to get the word out that we had 48 applicants for 12 spots for the studios um, accelerate, like I mentioned before, had a record number there. So just leveraging your network there, I think now we're starting to get and be um, continue to be kind of well respected in the space to the point where um, actually the majority of the applicants for these things are from outside of the region. So what that tells me is that we need to do more reach um, within our communities. While we do have representation from a, a wide variety of the municipalities in Hampton Roads with the studios, would love to see more applicants there. So anybody who's also been directly involved your... within our entrepreneurial community for years. And the most common question I get is, Tim, I want to get involved, but I don't know what events I should attend. Well, Startwheel eliminates that pain point because we consolidate all the events you should attend into a single calendar. Now you'll be in the know and see where to spend your time. Gone is the need to search multiple websites and calendars. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org. 